Hello, YouTube family. Oh, wait, what's going on with the internet? Oh, my system is malfunction. Okay, I have to go to... Oh, you guys can see me. Okay, so... Uh, yeah, um, good morning or good afternoon, whatever time you guys are tuning in. It's been one beautiful day, like, really. Um, this is where I am. And I don't know how much you can see of that. But I live on a lake, and it's amazing. Um, let me see if I can zoom in. Let's, I hope this will work for a little bit of time because um, the light and everything. Um, woo, it's getting warm. So I just um, made a video about um, kind of the experiences that I've been having since evolving a little bit since my first journey uh, here to Mexico. And well, I'll give you a, this is, I'm on the lake. where my house is so if it gets a bit noisy I may find that yeah let's just go ahead and move now so you can see me because like why not <laughs> so um yeah I made a I made a little um post about that and I I I actually ended up sharing this with a friend of mine like um, hey I've changed a lot it's not all black and white um, so I'm in the middle of moving from one cabana to another just much closer and um, yeah it's gonna be kind of interesting to see what comes up and this is David Oh, I mean, um, Jeff. I don't know why I'm calling, saying David. I feel kind of out of it, too, because, like, almost every night is, like, some kind of party or um, just, like, really investing and, in, like, time to get to know the children here on the island or um, spending time with the elders. Oh, this is Jeff. He says hi. He's oh. my housemate. <laughs> he cleaned out the kitchen. <laughs> Where are you from, Jeff? From Washington, D.C. Oh, wow. How long have you been traveling? I've been traveling since September, September last year. Nice to meet you. Yeah, yeah, nice to meet you. <laughs> and so I've quite enjoyed it, like uh, really just getting to know the kids and I'll insert a few clips. <laughs> uh, it's just like really fun to just like invest a lot of time with them. Um, I found like uh, when I'm on my way home, it's always like random local friends that I have run into on the way back are like, come here. So then it's a party, right? And then it doesn't kind of end until 3 a.m. because this is Mexico. So like, you know, you gotta, you gotta have fun on this island. And then in the days I find myself um, just inundated with a lot of stuff because I still have um, Instagram, which uh, is fun. And then I have my YouTube channel, which is another thing. And then I have, um, you know, I hold monthly luncheons, the last Monday of every month. 
So this kind of like this conference every month that I hold, I hope you guys can come. I'm really excited. Uh, and then there's press release stuff that I have to do. Um, and then I have clients and then also wanting to um, do a lot of healing work here uh, just with people that I am um, gravitating toward. And then um, I found it. I know I've like talked extensively about this man, Charlie Gilkey. But I really recommend to um, keep him uh, afoot if you can. Like he's honestly one of the the most um, engineering minds for um, finishing projects. So the book that I keep praising is called Start Finishing, and you're able to like chunk a lot of your time. Honestly, when you when like being so focused like this laser focused it's like I spend about six to eight hours a day because this is a full-time job like yes I may be traveling but uh, you know there's a thousand and one things to do right it's just because you're doing this doesn't it doesn't mean uh, we have to stop this is quarantine so this means honestly you guys you can be using this time to like better yourselves. I'm in the middle of a vegan nutritionist course right now so I can get that certification. I also have my workouts and my like plans and stuff that I have to do and then like all of the meal plans and uh, getting to know people and speaking Espanol. I, I really quite enjoy that a lot. Um, what else? You don't have to use this time. I'm not saying it's not good or bad. I'm also sharing that um, this experience can be can be like you you can find a lot more fruits you can gain a lot more fruits out of your situation when you um, start utilizing things I'm also noticing that I'm feeling foggy so I want also you all to be very careful with who you're getting spiritual work done with and what kind of dreams you will be having and this is just kind of like weird off dreams feeling kind of like off. Okay, so maybe I ate a brownie. I mean, <laughs> my friend did sell me a brownie before he left to Puerto Escondido. So I ate like some, some weed brownies. <laughs> and it was just one, but it was like enough. And then, um, yeah, I ended up getting this like spiritual work done from someone who said he would like do a healing on on the mind so I want you all to be very careful about who's accessing your subconscious a couple times I woke up kind of in a panic not wanting him to finish almost asking him to please cancel all of the work that he had done um, I'm gonna let it sit for another day although the words seem nice my energy is kind of like plateaued a little bit I've noticed that I'm not as sharp Hmm. I'm gonna uh, look back on all the dates that I've been doing spiritual work and then like just compare and contrast because it's just like it's so much right now and what next um, yeah I just kind of like mm. some people's energies can be really good and other people it comes at a Price. And so also now that we're talking about this, I know I've shared like a thousand and one times like how important it is to have prophetic dreams or the prophetic dreams that we're getting. And this one kind of came to me in a weird way that I'm like, okay, that was a that was a weird dream. That was a weird dream. So like God gives us dreams in sequence and it's not once one dream and then that's the message like you may receive a series of dreams and it may take 10 years to get the full dream um, there's a difference between a vision and a dream Martin Luther King said I have a dream right and a vision is something that you can see in your own mind's eye but a dream is God given this is something that you can just it was already delivered to you and your feet can't take you where your mind's never been so in this space I mean I'm just kind of like what is this dream so I want to really like caution a lot of you guys especially right now because we're feeling like a lot of like um, 
a lot of like the spiritual ascension and the depression at the same time so it's like a tug of war and whenever you let go of the rope then you always win in this tug of war um Yeah, just just strange things. I've been noticing stranger and stranger and stranger things happening. Um, I don't know what's going on there with the guys. Um, so last night I had a dream that uh, there was a book, and the book told me everything that was going to happen before it happened. The book looked like a children's book until I turned over on the back and it said, a woman tries to share deadly contagious virus. And everyone was slammed into like this, um, this room. I can't, I, I mean, it's just so weird. It was just so weird. Um, so everyone was contained into this room and this woman was um, trying to open up something and trying to keep me from leaving. It was just weird. Anyway, so the next dream that I had a few days later, um, or like a week or so beyond that, was, um, sorry, I keep looking because there's a lot happening over here in my, my neighborhood right now. So, um, the next dream that I had was like, there was some some kind of energy with like water and there were like three people playing in the water I was one of them and it was like these were uh these were illuminated and then when I they the kids got up they had like these like bumps they're like these contagious bumps on their body the next message I received after that was someone who was uh sharing in a dream he had uh god gave the vision of some sort of like nuclear war and this was the day after i had this i was like what is going on so i just want to remind you guys at this time right now maybe it's just best to just fast and keep silent you know just um keep silent and pray uh, i mean Honestly, I talked in the previous video about why I loved meditation so much and just like staying silent in Vipassana for 10 days. Uh, and I feel like this is a really nice space to be able to do that. Not really talk as much, just like really enjoy to um, be in your own energy. But definitely fast and pray and then pray prayer prayers of revelation and um, see what comes up. Oh, there's bugs <laughs> but uh thank you guys so much for the messages and um i've been getting some really cool whatsapps and like uh that you guys have been like seeing some of the videos so i really appreciate that like really from the bottom of my heart um because i do feel that if we can just be a lot more vulnerable and in a time where everybody's closing down then the world will open up a lot more just guard your dreams and be really careful of um you know the spiritual work that you're getting always ask questions always ask questions really uh it's 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 not a bad thing to ask questions and i feel like also i had been getting into like a pretty interesting space because although i'm like in um theta and we go up to seventh plane and it's god it's like a lot of the talks that you know i'm getting and um prayers and stuff is just kind of like you don't really need to mess with any of that that's i mean god is your main supplier god gets the glory and if you turn from your wicked ways and humble yourselves and seek my face it's like oh man okay listen like no one's perfect to be honest even in any christianity walk i mean i'm pretty sure you are not even going to meet any priest who is perfect um but I, I do feel that we can try to honor God the best way we know how. And for me, it's just keeping silent, going into nature, and um, yeah, it's pretty much it. Um,
it's like a moody artist phase I'm feeling everybody's like going into but ah we've been there all before we've been there all before okay guys again I'm having this luncheon and I really want to see you I really would uh, I think it would be amazing to to know where you're coming in from so you can get live messages on the day that I have planned on Monday this is August 24th so in three days I'm excited oh wow I hope I edit this in time I may have to bleep that out <laughs> that's another thing um, during this quarantine I've I, I found that this space where I'm in I know I've just been talking about how much I love it so much but now I paid for um, something called Filmora and so this it, it's like an editing tool and I'm like great now I can like create my own commercials I can um, do all of the things that I like have planned to do I still have my like uh, I have several courses still to finish I'm still reading like 17 books <laughs> um, and I'm still listening to a lot of the um, like meetings that I've had earlier because you never know like I definitely recommend that you take a your voice recorder and take that everywhere I mean it, it's really helped me a lot because a lot of times, even in business networking meetings and stuff like that, you may miss something. You may miss a lot. And so to have this access and just to be able to, to hit play on something that you've previously attended, is it's definitely going to bring a def, uh, it's gonna bring a new energy to you. All right, guys. I wish you the best. God bless you. Take care of yourselves. Look on Groupon. Don't be bored. Don't be sitting at home watching Netflix. You know, do what you can do for yourself to make yourself happy, to build yourself, to prepare for um, this amazing economy. You have enough money, you can go online to Groupon or to um, Udemy and you can start picking out a lot of the courses like a, like, a, like a wish list and you can just start buying them. I mean, I think my vegan course was even $17 or like 11 or $7, I can't remember. I bought it a couple months ago. Um, but now I feel like this is really the space to be able to plug in. Okay, it's been seven min 17 minutes and I've been talking a lot and I like to keep silent or limit my words. <laughs> All right, God bless you guys. You take care and um, my love to you. All right, during quarantine.